All right, this video stems from a question I got on one of my other videos. And that is, what's the easiest way to program drums in Cubase? And I just wanted to touch on this real quick. So if you watch my other video on how to do the multi-outs for any of the other drum programs I have, um, this, one, this one was left on the superior uh, video, so I'll go ahead and make it for that. Um, for now, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to load up Superior on an instrument track, uh, but normally I wouldn't do that. Now, the uh, he asked what the simplest way to program drums is, and honestly, the simplest way is to know how to play drums and play an e kit. But I realized that not everyone's going to have that. And not everyone's going to be very good at playing it on a keyboard either. So th this is how you would hand draw in um, beats easily. So what you first want to do is you want to log into your ToonTrack account and download the user contributed maps under the downloads option after you log in. And the reason why I'm not showing you that is I don't support piracy and I will not be giving out the maps. If you didn't buy Superior, then good luck because I'm not helping you. Um, but if you did, then you know grab the maps and this is how you would use them in Cubase. Um, as you can see, we have our instrument track and this works on MIDI tracks too. You'll see right down here, no drum map. Well, we need to change that uh, by going to drum map setup and we select drum map setup and this window pops up and then we need to go to functions and hit load now wherever you saved those drum maps to is where you need to direct your browser to go to because these DRM files are what we're loading into Cubase and um, if you don't have a DRM file, you've got the wrong file because I'm pretty sure this is both Mac and PC. Um, it's a Cubase specific file. So um, in this case, uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to find the avatar kit, which is the standard kit in Superior. It's the one that comes with it. And we're going to hit open. Okay, so now we'll see Superior Drummer here. And we can go ahead and close this window. Now you'll notice over here it still says no drum map. Well now that we've got that loaded, it shows up underneath here. And we need to actually load this up. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing is make sure you have the avatar kit loaded. And yes, I actually do own all of these expansions. They're, you know, sales and stuff. Um, I never bought anything f full price. And the audio is now screaming into my ear. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab our pencil tool and we're going to write in one bar right into the instrument or MIDI track. And now when we have this selected, Superior Drummer 2, when we double click this, this window shows up. And this window is much, much, much easier to program drums in than a piano roll. Because if you go up here and set your, your quantize, and we scroll down a bit, we know that our kick is here, our snare is here. You know, we can just, you know, go ahead and, and start doing our programming, you know. Um, and, you know, this is obviously just going to be something simple. And that's all there is to it. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the simplest way to hand program it. Um, you can, you know, select your velocity here. Make sure snap is on. This doesn't necessarily need to be on yeah that doesn't need to be on and then um, this is where you would set up how it quantize the reason why this is easier is because you're looking at diamonds and it's just easier to see the pattern that it is in a MIDI or in a piano roll editor 
So that's all there is uh, to uh, this little tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I will uh, try to get to them when I can. Thanks.